Okay, welcome back to a, another episode of Laundry Darkroom. Uh, the negative contact sheet that we have today actually has a fair number of images that I want to get printed or I would like to print. Um, but the one that we're going to concentrate on the most is going to be this one right here. It's a nice little portrait of uh, me and my daughter together in the car. And so that is the one that we are going to print. And I've got the negatives right here. I believe I have to look. I think it's, which one is it? It's this one right here. So that's the one that we're going to mount. It's 35 millimeters, so I've got to get it, all that set up and get the uh, my 35 millimeter mask in and all that stuff. Um, and we're going to print it on 8 by 10. Um, if I really, really like it, I might do an 8 by 12 on an 11 by 14 sheet, but that will be a future time. So let me get everything set up and then we'll be ready to rock and roll. Okay, so that is uh, the image framed up on my 8x10 easel. Um, I've got it in focus. And so now I think, so this is Fomapan 200 and that looks like there's a fair amount of contrast there. I was originally going to do like a, um, a grade to print but i think i'm just gonna start off and normally i'd you know i've been doing f22 but i'm gonna do f16 in 15 seconds just to start off uh, and a grade one print and see what that gives us so i'm gonna go ahead and get that set up and then we'll make the print all right this is grade one 15 seconds at f16 um, so I think what we need to do is I, I don't think a doubling, uh, opening it up to F11 is going to do it. I think F8 is going to have to be it, but I'll do one more at, uh, F11 and then we'll do it F8. And then from there we can adjust the time up or down. I generally like to be between 10 and 20 seconds because that gives me enough granularity that I've got one second increments to adjust the time. Um, so that's what we'll do on the next run is one at F um, 11 in 15 seconds and then see where that gets us. I still think that one will be too light, but um, it, it'll at least be a starting point. So we'll do that. Okay, this is F 11 at 15 seconds again I, I just don't and we're probably going to end up down at f58 or f56 um, i don't think f8 is going to be it but i'll go ahead and, and just step it down I, I think i may need to also go from a grade one to a grade zero because this uh, area here the back end the back part is actually starting to be about where I want it to be uh, in terms of shadow details, maybe a little bit darker than that, but we're already, we're still, you know, way blown out on the skin tone, so less contrast. Um, again, this is Fomapan 200, way back before I started uh, doing any kind of serious, you know, process control um, on, my, on my negatives. So it uh, definitely, <laughs> This is significantly higher contrast of a negative than I would normally um, develop. And with the condenser and larger, I just, I'm not going to be surprised if we end up, you know, way down at, uh, you know, a grade zero. Actually, I'm pretty sure that's where we're going to end up is a grade zero plus um, quite a bit more time. Uh, like I said, I don't think F8 is going to do it. It'll probably be F5, 6 but we'll do one at F8 and one at F5, 6 as well um, at grade zero. All right, now we are getting in the ballpark. 
that is easily starting to be usable um, in terms of tone. The back here is a little bit darker than I would prefer, but that's fine. Um, here in the skin tones, uh, we're still a little bit on the light side. So I'll, I'll probably bump it up to um, from 15 seconds. So we're F8 now. So from 15 seconds, I'll probably do 16 seconds and maybe try a grade zero zero. I don't think grade zero zero is going to give me a significant change in contrast, but um, I just, it's become clear that <laughs> this is quite a bit higher contrast of a negative than what I can realistically print on a condenser and larger. So um, we'll give that a whirl and see what comes of it. All right, this is probably the exposure that's gonna give us what we want. Um, I increased the time to two tenths by two tenths of a second, so we're at 17 seconds. And um, I put the grade zero zero filter in. You can see there it's awfully yellow. That's, that's the grade zero zero filter. So this will probably give us what we want. So I'm gonna develop it and see what we get. Okay. So here, uh, 17 seconds I think is, at grade zero zero is probably a little dark. But the, this is the great thing is I, because I'm between 10 and 20 seconds, it's really easy for me to um, really finesse the, the time in one second increments to dial in what I need. I think zero zero is about what we want because we're, we're a little dark here. We're our uh, bright background back here has come up. Um, it is a little bit soft. So what I might do is go back to 15 seconds at grade zero zero and do one print looking at that. And if I need to, because that, at that point I'm effectively uh, doing a split grade print. If I need to punch any of the blacks in or I want to make anything darker, I can just add uh, one or two seconds, you know, like a second and a half or three seconds of uh, grade five and um, uh, punch in the blacks, however, or, or punch in the shadows to taste. So I, I may try that, but this seems a little low-ish contrast. I might actually keep it, as, and it's, it's a little on the dark side. Hmm, let me think about this for a second. I'll have to work something out, but uh, that's where we're at right now. All things being said, this actually is a totally passable print. If someone were to see this sitting on my desk uh, or, you know, hanging on the wall, they wouldn't think twice about it. I'm the, Purely at this point, it's me just being picky. Okay, so um, what we have for this one is I kept the 17 second exposure time and went back to grade zero. I could have stayed on a grade zero zero, but that would have, if I wanted to do a split grade print, that would have meant uh, reducing the time probably back down to 15 seconds and then punching the blacks in. This is still sufficient. It is a little bit dark uh, up in here, um, but it's actually not bad. We're not losing any tone or detail or anything like that. It's still quite gradiently, spe uh, quite gradient speaking. And uh, same thing here, the bright outside you know, you can see that there's another car parked next to us. It's obvious that that's the case. You kind of expect it to be on the bright side. Um, you know, if I were to stay on grade zero zero, uh, I, I would effectively have to figure out what time at grade zero zero would give me this, because that's the brightest part of the image, and then figure out what time at grade five would give me... Um, uh, the exposure that I wanted. I, I would I would guess that grade zero zero at 15 seconds would give me this same thing here. Um,
but you know it, it's it's hard to say at any rate i'm pretty happy with this print and it's getting late it's a little after 11 p.m uh monday night so i'm going to go ahead and uh clean up and then we'll do our uh, let these dry and then we'll do our final walk through of how we arrived at this print um, at the very end. So um, I will see you then. Okay, let's do our behind the scenes review. So we started off with our print and here is what we started with. Um, you know, clearly not enough exposure. We also had a little little uh, thing of uh, hair or fiber or whatever there. Um, this was uh, F16 at 15 seconds and a grade, I don't remember what grade. I think it was a grade two or a grade one. Okay, here we uh, went to F11, 15 seconds, kept the same grade. I think it was a grade two. This also doesn't really work for us. Then we went to 15 seconds at F8 um, and uh, grade zero, if I remember correctly. I either did grade one or grade zero. But anyway, this was F8 at 15 seconds. Still, eh. So then we went to this, still 15 seconds, grade zero, zero. And you'll notice it's quite a bit less contrast than this. I mean, you can just see it especially in the face, the skin tones. It's just significantly less contrast. Now I could have kept this because uh, we were just about right uh, here. We could have stayed at zero, zero and maybe gone back to 15 seconds and then used our grade five to burn in, you know, the, uh, the darker areas to taste. But I was like, eh, let's go to, uh, and this was, uh, I believe, 18 seconds at grade zero, zero. So I kept this 18 seconds at grade zero, zero, or 18 seconds and went to back to a grade zero. And you'll notice, I mean, that's a marked difference, right? This is 18 seconds at zero, zero, 18 seconds at grade zero. And compared to the 15 seconds at grade zero, I mean, you can see easily, particularly in my daughter's face, it's just uh, this is the better looking one. Um, and we're not, still not getting too dark here. It's not crushing to black. Usually, you know, if you get too aggressive with the time, you'll, you'll start to see this this, uh, the darker areas, you know, really crushed to black. And this got me to thinking, you know, cause at, <laughs> at zero, this blows back out again, right? When you look here on the zero, zero print, we're fine for the most part, right? We're still a little bit, I mean, we're off a of paper white, but you know, that's nothing. But here we're not, really off of paper white. So uh, that got me to thinking, and I was like, you know, what if I just do 19 seconds We'll just go one more 19 seconds, right? At grade zero. And I was like, ah, well, to heck with it. Let's just get adventurous. Let's do F8. I'm sorry, F5, 6. And 10 seconds. 
so basically 20 seconds at f8, uh, grade zero. And this is actually the best looking printout of all of them. This is still blown out to white. I mean, you can tell we're not really coming off of paper white here. Uh, maybe a little bit, just a, just a smidge. But it's, it's, this is definitely on the upper end of um, what you're going to fit on the paper. And here, we're definitely getting down to where we're starting to see some difficulty in, in seeing the difference between my hairline and the background. So grade zero is marginally not, uh, is marginally too much uh, contrast for this particular role. And again, this is Fomopan 200. Um, I believe I developed this in D76. And it was back when I, um, you know, I mean, this, this particular negative is probably five or six years old at this point, five years old. And this was back where I didn't really know what I was doing. And I was just basically, you know, throwing it in there. Um, I most definitely did it one-to-one. -one. I never used D76 stock. I always dilute it. Um, so I did one-to-one, -one and I don't even remember what time I ran it for, but clearly it was, um, you know, very high contrast. So I ran it for probably more time than I should have, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, this also was shot in my little Fujifilm class camera which is a 35 millimeter point and shoot with a 38 millimeter lens. And because FOMA films don't have DX markings, um, it exposed this at 100 instead of 200. So we also have an extra stop of exposure on top of the fact that it's significantly overdeveloped. Um, I mean, just looking at the negative, this dark area here is nowhere near um, nowhere near uh, film base plus fog. I mean, all the darkest areas in the negative. There's no, there's no area in the negative at all that comes even remotely close to film base plus fog. So it was, it's definitely was developed more than it should have been. I mean, it's a big, fat, thick, meaty negative um, in terms of density. And it got plenty of exposure and plenty of development. And the thing that's just amazing is I don't see any grain. I mean, this is a 35 millimeter frame that I'm printing at eight by 10. I could probably easily print this uh, as um, an eight by 12. Actually, I can print it as an eight by 12, maybe even as like a 12 by 18 if I really wanted to, and you wouldn't be able to see the grain. I mean, just looking at this print, it does not look grainy. It's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. This is this right here is exactly one of the reasons why Foam Pan 200 is one of my favorite films. Yes, it can suffer from quality control problems, and yes, it's a little on the soft side in terms of the emulsion. It's easy to damage if you don't handle it right, but it is absolutely beautiful if you do it right. I mean, there's just no two ways about it. It's absolutely beautiful. So anyway, uh, that's this episode of Laundry Dark Room. Um, this is the final print. 10 seconds, F5.6, grade zero. I'll see you guys on the next one.